we're doing the tread. So I've stripped the tread of the riser off. This is how this has been going all the way up here. And uh, we, I clean these off because they're covered with dirt and you know, they're 100 years of dirt. Um, and then we did a little repair over here because this one looked a little weak to me. We put another little helper piece on there. Once I got this set, I know that the stairs have been going like this, right? So I know this is my high point. So we're putting our level on there. What I've been doing all along here is going to that low point and then shimming it up and putting the, onto the stair stringer, I'm adding a shim of some sort. I have shims of different thicknesses, three quarters, three eighths, half, you know, whatever it takes to get this good. And then what I have left over is a space under here. So I have to pick out a proper, a proper piece that will get me to that spot. In some cases, it's a little bit of finagling around to get this to, you know, I might use this piece, cut him up in a couple of something like that, just doping it in here. But basically, I need to get this, this filled in so this line is nice and level. Then when I measure the riser, it will be exactly the same in all three places which is what I'm gonna do right now. Seven and five sixteenths. Okay, so we're gonna to go to the saw and we're gonna cut a piece that's seven and, seven and five sixteenths and it's gonna work uh, out of the poplar. We're gonna measure out of here, out of this little pocket, little dado in here. And we're gonna come out here. We want our, our, our risers to end up outside the skirt board. It's about 29 and three quarters. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna cut that uh, riser. Okay, so uh, these risers, I want to try to cut the side of the riser. Uh, like I said, I want to try to cut a little five degree bevel on that. So the, the front edge will sit right on the, on the, on the tread and uh, behind it will be a little void that we'll put some glue in, but we'll get, it'll make for a nicer, tight, tighter fit. I'm going to set the saw to, zero, to five degrees. And then I'm going to measure to the long point for my for my uh, cut, the width, width of my cut, which is seven and five sixteenths. I'm gonna tap this over and I'm good there. Everything on these jobs is like when you're working in here and you need a you know a nail guy and you need a little uh, you know trimmer tool and you need your chisels and you need your, your gun and your levels it all gets piled in the one little area you can get real claustrophobic about it <laughs> uh, but uh, you try to keep your patience so we have our, uh, our uh, we have a little disparity here in our level so I'm going to put this shim down here I put a little bit of that polyurethane glue down. And this is a shim that we're going to use here. We're going to nail this down. And now we should get a pretty decent fit for this riser that we just cut. We're going to, we're going to put our long edge out, right? That five degree cut we put on there is going to face out. And then we're going to slide it into its, its notch on this side. There's our notch. We're going to slide in there. And uh, once we get in there, that's cool. And but we want to make sure that we pull it out on this side so that it's kind of lined up with the outside of our skirt board here as best that we can. So this is looking pretty good here. Um, I think we're going to go with that. There's my glue. There it is. We'll put a little glue on the face of the, the where the riser sits. The last thing we want to do is put a little bead of glue right on the back of where that riser sits. We don't want to pull that out into the tray to make a big mess. We just want to make a little bead that comes along and helps that riser hold itself down. Checking this again to make sure I have this on the right side, which I do. 
and in we go. We're going to nail the, the bottom of the riser. We know that's where it wants to be in terms of its plumbness. Put one there. Put one there. Now we're gonna now we're gonna use the level again to make sure that these these risers are plumb. Okay, so I'm making up my shims here. I'm, I'm conserving on shims, so I'm just taking one shim and I'm turning it into three shims because these are the only you know I don't need anything wider than that. So we know this 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 has to come out to get plumb. good okay so that's plumb now I can nail the top of that one I'll nail the top of this in so it move a little bit I mean, I've got to go back and readjust and that's pretty nice I can live with that I will do the middle. The middle says it also wants to come out. So we'll take our shims, we'll slide them back here. And we'll get this to push out a little bit. Not enough yet. That's looking pretty nice. One more. One or two more little taps, it should be perfect. That's beautiful there. So we've got those two together. We put our headphones on and we'll chop these off now after we nail this in. Yeah, so what we've been doing on our treads all along, after we get our riser set, we've been setting our tread, and we've been making sure that we have an inch and a quarter. When you hang over here, this is, says inch and a quarter on the tape. We want to have an inch and a quarter hanging out here, the, 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 uh, the piece that's hanging over the, the riser. And we want to carry that same inch and a quarter this way, too. So we want to make sure we have an inch and a quarter here and an inch and a quarter here. So... This piece, at this point, has an inch and a half, and it has, has two and a half here. So we're going to alter this piece right now. We're going to rip it, we're going to cut the side, and then, you know, we're going to get it to where, so we can put it in here, it's going to be really close to an inch and a quarter reveal here, and an inch and a quarter reveal over here. and cuts and things are all for the purpose of getting this tread to fit in there properly. It should drop right in here and be get to exactly where we want it to be. With that inch and a quarter hangover. So the tape tells the tale. Um, I can get to inch and a quarter here like that. This should be my inch and a quarter here pulled up all the way into the skirt board and then the overhang also should be an inch and a quarter to match all the other treads that we did and it is so this is a good location for this so the next thing I do I'm going to remove the tread put it aside just for a second take my grandfather's square my grandfather was a machinist and uh, he lived in New York City and he, uh, he worked in Hoboken and this square is a beautiful square. I, I love using it. I'm just going to mark where I've been nailing all along. I'm trying to make all my nails line up. So I've been putting them on the same line. So as I've been going along, I've just been, where my line of my nails are, I've just been squaring that up and using it and putting my nails in the same place to give the whole staircase rhythm. Even though these nail holes are going to get filled, somebody might see them, but it would just make the staircase feel more calm 
and uh, look like a better installation if you're lining everything up. So what we can do now is we can use our glue, our amazing glue, and we can put a couple runs on here on all sides. We're going to get it on there good. We're even going to put a little, a little run right on the leading edge, on the back of the leading edge, so the riser sits on that too. We're going to put this aside, pop our tread in, squish it down, almost like setting a tile. We'll recheck our, our margins again, the inch and a quarter, the inch and a quarter to there, and the inch and a quarter on the side, which we have. And then we're going to transfer the marks that we made with our with our level, uh, I mean our, with our square. And we're going to put them on top of the treads. One there, a couple here. These I'm going to do later because they're angled. The whole time I've been using the same formula, like two and three quarters, five and three quarters, eight and three quarters. That's where I've been putting my nails at. So I'm going to keep going with that consistency. All right, so we're going to tack these, tack these down. Alright, so that's a that's an installed tread. It looks pretty good. And the level should say the level should say pretty level, right? The bubble's looking nice there. So we just have this one to do, the finishing piece, the finishing uh, nosing piece and the finishing riser, and this staircase will be done. We're gonna start the other one. So we're gonna see you when we start the other one.